he may be in very rare territory of a 28 car field for the sprint cars. Which is, think about this, 10 more cars than what we had in the late models on Sunday. And uh, one of the hardest cars. And 7,000 I rating all the way down to who knows what's at the bottom. Weren't able to get a split. For some reason, Irwindale doesn't get a lot of people, and yep. Here we are, 1,500 is 27th. 500 is the bottom. But Lyle didn't look all that terrible, so we could still could still easily, well, it looks like Ted is maybe just not even going to race. Um, but we could still go caution-free. Possibly. But uh, let's go ahead and see what this is like with some pumped up tires. See if we can get any speed out of it. If we can qualify top 10, I'll be happy. But uh, just do not want to screw up the qualifying and end up in the back. Even though it, you have multiple lanes that you can use, uh, the high side is the quickest way, right by the wall, like we're talking, I think you might be running into it almost, that high, but let's see what we can put in here, need to be like a 16-2, especially if the track is cooled down. There we go, 16.219, but that only puts us 7th, so uh, we're going to probably need to get into the 1s. Pitboxing, right here. Gavin might be ahead of us anyways. Nope, but a lot of other people are. We're 15 nines are the top guys. Let's see what we got. I shared my setup with everyone, so. Uh, you know, there's faster sets. I just went off of the baseline just because Stanton's just drives a little bit different for me. And so I didn't even try his this time, which was probably stupid, but. Um, I need to learn what I need to change to get some speed out of it. 16.3, we missed the high side, we got a little bit of a push there. Need to get through here decent. Try to get on it early. 16.262, that puts us 10th at the moment. Not a great run. And now we're 11th. Oh, crap. We totally screwed up. We are so far off pace. Well, I did not drive it hard enough.
That is not good for us. 15th. I, I just needed to drive that. I needed to be aggressive with it. Everyone has put in a good lap. Like, even if I ran my 219, that would only move us up two spots. Oh, well. Uh, we got some... We got some work to do. A lot of work to do. And we got one guy that's not in here, so we're not going to get to go early on this. But, uh, damn, we keep falling. What is that noise? Hold on. All right. Apparently, uh, blender is going on underneath us. So, um, can't have an early caution. Absolutely can't have that, because then we're starting on the 17th row. Single file restarts. We've got to... I don't know. Got to head low and hope they get jammed up on the top side. Try to get a couple of spots. I think we need to kind of get... We need to get ahead of Chad. Although Austin had a bad Q too, so... I guess it was only two of them. All right. This is, this can be scary. At least we're on the bottom. We're just going to go low and hope. You'll be lining up on the inside. Pit road is closed. That's all we can do. And hope it doesn't spin. Do not need to send ourselves to the back. We only got 50 laps. I thought this was at least going to be 55. I need about 100. Oh, man. Just hope we can get some long green runs, but look at all these sprint cars. There's no tight changes allowed during this race. Treat them right and good luck. Alright, auto fuel is not a thing on this. We do need to pop down to pit road. We will fill it up. Ooh boy. This is a lot of cars. I have practiced down on the apron in three and four. Um, 
It gets really tight though if you try to push it through the center. And then you almost head like straight up the track on exit, so. We don't want to do that, but I think everyone's going to be kind of competing to get up top. Which could cause a big mess, so. It could cause some stack ups, it could cause a uh, wreck. Get ready, going green. Who knows what happens, but I just hope we have a good race. And not an hour race. Green, green, green. Car outside. Oh, we got a big push there. That was not good for us. Everyone's done well. I go all the way down here and hope we don't come up into anyone. We got away from the guy behind us a bit. We just gotta take it easy here. Could have went up top, but instead we're gonna go down low three wide. Which I believe Chad gets to lose there. I think we scared him. Now we're three wide. Outside, clear. Oh, and something happened, Car and outside. that was Chad. And we get a spot, because apparently we were ahead of the 18. But we're only in 16th. Hopefully we didn't cause anything there with Chad. Now this is going to be completely different than the initial start. Because uh, we're all going to be in a line now, so. Pit road's open. But yeah, now we're half a lap essentially behind the leaders, which is no big deal because we didn't have a shot at anything probably in the top 10. But I'm going to have to find a way to make passes. Bottom was not cutting it, even with them all jammed up. We might just be slow. Could just be. But unfortunate for Chad. I'm sure he won't be the only one. He might have got hooked. He might have got on the gas too hard. Might have been big prediction code. Who knows? But at least we're not wasting all these laps under caution. We're just wasting time. We do have a time limit on things. 57 minutes left. So if it goes really bad, you'll know by... The length of the video. Pit road is closed. Although it might go really bad for us, and the video might end in about two minutes. Austin made it to. He's up to 12th. And you know what? Top 10. If I can get to 10th, that'd be great. We don't have that far to go. About to go green. Stay focused. We just need to settle in. Post car is off. Find the speed. But, I mean, look how far behind we are from the leaders. Try not to accordion everyone because I know there's going to be a bit of a check up here. Now we go. Green, green, green. Outside. Go down here and try. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Still there. Try to make anything up what we can. Keep low. 16th. 
15.352. Keep low. Clear high. Outside. Clear on a two part down outside. there. Clear outside. All right. We are struggling, and we're going to start losing. Alright, get up high. Feel the car out. Just take it easy. Got a long ways to go. Gets up in the wall. We might be able to slide job this. I don't know if I want to try. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't try that. I would have needed to really dive it in low and commit. Riley got a little loose there. Clear. I just can't get anything working. I feel like they're going to start stacking up on the high side, though. I keep saying that, and it doesn't happen, but... We work down here for a bit. Oh, we got that spot. Had a moment. That puts us up into 14th. Double our number right now. And we're not the only ones struggling to uh, make any passes, but I'm also taking it fairly easy right now. doing 16 threes we should be in 16 twos probably Austin's heading all the way down not going to be able to clear and get up he's heading all the way down in one and two the yellow flag is out line up single file closed pit road is closed all right well we're 14th be happy with that so far uh, James is ahead of us I don't know if I like that no offense James but uh, Gav geez Gavin's up in fifth same setup I just need a man up and drive this thing apparently it's just so hard to do when Everyone is in front of you, and there's really nowhere to go at this track. I mean, you can go low, but Austin's quick, and he's really not making a move. Pit road is now open. need to get brave with the high side although I'm using the uh, white line here dash white line to uh, rotate the car because I do feel a little tight right now but I think that's just because we're under driving it so much Currently, we've got 23 people on the lead lap, so we have lost five people, but I think a couple of them didn't start. Pit road is closed. What? 
time to fire it back up. Find a way around Riley. Although he's One to uh, go. Next time getting by. faster since the start of the year, or start of the season. So it might just not even be possible. Get ready, going green. Post car is off. Watch a few cars ahead of me green just flag, to time it off of them so that we don't get checked up. This is gonna be dumb. Outside. Keep low. Clear outside. Worth a try though, Six with the gap point. behind Three, us. Nine, one. Because if we can just get ahead of them at the line and then catch a lucky caution, uh, then we get the spot without ever really passing. 16.551. Seven laps to halfway. Outside. Stay low. There is a car on the right there. Still there. Hold your line. Start pushing it a bit more. Be a little more aggressive. Austin's making it work. He's going to slide it on up. Brandon's dropping off a bit. Point three, four, five. Car outside. Clear. That was dumb. Oh, that was really dumb. Sixteen point All right. Settle back Car in. Outside. Still there. Hold your line. That was just a dumb idea all around. Clear outside. Getting a little aggressive on throttle. Riley's going for a slider. Can't quite get it done. We kind of held him up there in the center of the corner. Outside. Still there. Hold your line. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear up top. 16.241. Nearly squeezed him. Outside. Outside, clear. All right, settle back up in the top side. We are in 11th. Random land in overdrive. Settle back in here for a second. Got a slow car down low here. Try to get some drive back in the middle lane. Aggressive on braking. Car outside. Wow, car does middle. a good job Clear getting wide. out of the way. Still there. Clear. Two wide. Still there. Hold your line. Sixteen point mm, three. Slid up too much line. there. Still there. Hold your line. So low. Clear outside. Sixteen Got that. Point three. Might be able to get Austin. But we'll slide up here. about it. Don't want to get landed back on our outside. Nine, nine. 
just try to get a run set up here to where we can get a good dive onto the middle lane. 16.476, car outside. Still there, hold your line. Squeezing up just a bit too much on the straight there. I got to be careful about that. Stay low. 16.359. Still there. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Freaking awesome racing, but I'm squeezing him up too much. I scared him out there. Sorry. That was. I hope I didn't put him in the wall there. I just started pushing up too hard there. Hopefully we didn't make contact or anything. There might have been prediction code or something that put him in the wall, but I just kept pushing it a little harder and a little harder and got way too high, higher than I wanted to get there. All right, settle in, let this thing cool down a bit. We're in ninth. The chance at getting seventh amazingly from 17th. Just gotta let what's gonna happen ahead play out for a second and see. Ryan's having a good run. Oh. Rich got into the wall there. He's kinda overdriving and sliding up in center, so. Oh. Grab the straightaway wall. Oh shit, don't push up. Thankfully it rotated on brakes. Oh, we nearly got hooked at the end of the straightaway there. And I've got to take that line away from him. Still there, inside. Yellow flag is out. Line up, single file. Close. Pit road is Ooh, closed. Alright. We got the spot. Oh. And we got a car backwards there. Holy crap. That was scary. We're in eighth. <laughs> what a race. I did not think we'd be able to move up like this. Catch up, 16 car. Oh, and was Tracy the caution? Or did he have to... Stanton and Tr Tracy are shown third and fourth, Get but behind. I don't know what's happening. I have no idea what's going on with the standings, but... They don't appear to be trying to get back ahead, so... Uh, Gavin is running third. Pit road's open. Hell of a run for him. I think I might have found something. I, uh... I just... made the, uh... kind of, like, tied down, I think is what you call it, the left rear shock. And that just made a world of a difference to me. And then I just balanced it so that it wasn't skipping or too loose or anything. And, uh, this seemed to really work out. But we got lucky that we didn't have to fight Rich too much more there, because he was going to get back to our inside, and I don't feel as quick on the high side. Thankfully, we can make passes right below the white line, as long as I don't shove up. I really hope I didn't get into Austin there. I was way too high. Especially not knowing how high he was running. So, hopefully, I did not. Got another lap car. Well, it's been a race. I mean, we have made some passes, which is awesome. I just, I want to watch Gavin's race now. Like, 
What the hell? One left to green. Dude is just getting up to speed with this thing so quick. I still don't understand what's going on with the scoring, so maybe they got past him. I don't know. I, I'm so Get confused ready. on Going how right they're on. behind him. The pace car is in. Now we can see the leader. Green flag, green flag. Take advantage of Ryan. Outside. Maybe being too too cautious at the Still start. Good. Push on exit there. Still there, hold your line. Tracy's having issues. Oh, we're having issues. Still there, hold your line. Do not Six want to wreck Ryan two, nine, or anyone. Keep low. Clear outside. Outside. Still there. Thought about pushing up there. Sixteen point three. Oh, I'm getting too tight now. The yellow flag is out. Do we get him? Do we get the free spot? We were ahead at the line. <laughs> oh, we're getting lucky on these yellows. Oh, we we cheated our way on that one. We had it at the line last time by. All right, we're seventh. That makes our job easier. I don't know, though. I, I feel like we're getting too tight now. Let's go cool off the tires. Oh, man. We are getting very lucky with these yellows now. Who is leading this? Oh, it's Mitch up front. Pete Rowe, he's now Derek in second and Gavin in third. sad part is this race isn't really going to be worth all that much points wise because it's about a thousand less on strength of field because we didn't get rid of the uh, bottom half and move them to a second split alright well we have moved up 10 spots Tracy looks like he's struggling to get it off the corners. I don't think we'll get around him, but you never know. Catch that five, car. Seven laps to go when we restart. Closed. Pit road is closed. For a full split, this has not been bad, and everyone we've been around has been racing good. Catch James is back. To, well, James is in 13th. I think that's where he's just been. Riley's in 15th. Jeremy is in 16th. Landon's 11th, Austin's 10th, Brandon's 12th. He kind of fell off there. One to go. Next time by. We'll see what Ryan's got for us. I'm actually glad that it's just a single split and get everyone in here. About to go green. Because Ryan would have been dropped to a second to split. Had it split just at 29. Bad start and some issues getting on throttle. And Tracy, I don't know if he hit the wall actually or not. That was scary. I thought we were gone. Thought for sure we were gone there. 
Be patient here. Rich has gotten around Ryan. 16.285. You got five laps to go. Derek going for a move. Josh going for the bottom line move on Gavin. Oh, don't hit the wall, Gavin. got space. Let's just go for it. Oh shit, we nearly threw it all the way. I tried getting on too hard to make it to the line and then hope for a caution. We won't do that again. We're just too tight up top. Oh, they got into each other and into the wall. There's not going to be a caution. Stanton's going for the low line. And I think Gavin got him. You know what, though? I am going to take a seventh place. We run our fastest lap at the last lap somehow. Didn't even good feel job. that quick. Very good job. Hell of a race. Hopefully we did not get into Austin. We'll take a look and see. Let's go back to that right away and then we'll go through all. We were racing really aggressive there. Oh, I started hitting back. I'm like, how are these guys getting back ahead of me? I don't remember this. All right. Okay, good. I was so scared I pushed him up there, especially when he kind of, like, ended up really diving it here. And I was like, uh... What? Like, was he pissed? But thankfully, we did not get into him. We weren't given much room, but... I trust most of the people out here. Let's, uh... Let's go take a look. See what happened out here. So, Dylan... Oh, that's what happens. No, this was a different wreck. Dylan gets loose. Well, he, he gets a push. And then loose, and then snap, and then him and the 17. Go flying. And then, here's Chad. Was Chad a whole different wreck? Oh, he kind of just started drifting down. I think he... I don't know what he was doing there. He just kind of drifted down there, and then the 19 was there, and then boom. So. And then... So, were both of these wrecks at the same time? Okay, they were, because Chad's up there spinning. Okay. It's like, what the hell is happening? Then, Jeremy and the 23 is up in the wall, and Jeremy gets into the back of him. Everyone stays alive. And Jeremy gets into the back of the 19, and then into the 19 again. Jeremy thinks he's in a stock car, and the 19 finally spins. And then... Okay, that was... I thought that was like on a restart. Or was it on a restart? No. That, yeah, that was right before the car. He was just, he was going to run him over, apparently. <laughs> 
28 is going straight into the wall. Under caution. And 23 gets into the wall and Jeremy gets into the back of him. And then... Is this what happens? Oh, the wheel-to-wheel -wheel contact. I actually don't want to see how Gavin gets around those guys. 25 grabs the wall, riding the wall, climbing the wall, can't get it off it. Jeremy, grab the wall on the back stretch. Aaron is full throttling it into the corner to try a slide job for 22nd position, 19th position. Uh, that was interesting. James is like, oh god. And looks through the prediction code. Oh, okay. Now I know. This was right in front of the leaders, too. And, uh... That is how they end up losing the spots, because they end up stopping, I assume is what happened. 28, losing it. Up the track. Then Josh, into the back of Gavin there, and then grabs the wall a little bit, somehow saves it. And at the line, ah, oh, there we go. I was like, there's no way Landon made it through a sprint car race. <laughs> Brandon flips across, but luckily last lap. And, uh... Yeah. And Landon, I'm just giving you crap. I'm always going to give you crap for it. I don't have an issue with you. You know what the problem is. But Brandon... <laughs> Brandon goes for a... A heck of a ride. So, let's take a look at the results. And we gain 28 I rating, 8 safety rating, get through all that with zero incidents. Because normally when you get incidents in this, you're you're kind of hurt. Um, yeah, we do our fastest lap at lap 50, but everyone else was kind of getting quick there at the end. But uh, yeah, um, the 19 ends up with 12. I was looking to see what Jeremy's count was he ends up with 12 as well kind of figured with all the uh, use of the tank the fuel cell bumper but great racing I mean we had four cautions we had 28 sprint cars on a half mile track and we only had four cautions and we moved up 10 spots I mean that was that was crazy. Just got lucky with that middle groove just working for me. So I can't wait to watch Gavin's race though. I mean he is he is getting stupid fast with this. I'm gonna stop giving him setups. So uh yeah. Hope you enjoyed that one. Thanks for watching.